Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth episode in the Roblox Save Slot series. And in this video, I will be showing you how to uh, make your server script and your remote events. That will allow the client side to communicate with the server script to actually save your data. So let's get straight into it. First, I'm going to add an, a remote event to my replicated storage. And I will call this Save Slot. I will also add a remote function that will be called load slot so you can guess what this does save slot saves a slot and load slot loads a slot so to be able to use these remote events i'm going to be adding a script into server script service and i will call this something like slot service inside the script i will make two variables uh which will reference the two uh, remote events i have in my replicated storage Now I'm going to define some functions that will execute some code when one of these events is fired so that when the client side asks to save some data, uh, the server script will be able to handle this and actually save the data. So let's get straight into that. First I'm going to work with my load slot event and you can do this by making a function called load slot dot on server invoke and in the uh, parameters, I will pass in player and slot. By default, uh, remote functions from the client side uh, always pass in a player as the first object, and then you can specify any number of other custom arguments, and in this case, I want to know the slot. So which slot is it that I'm trying to save? Now I'm going to leave this blank because I also need to instantiate two more variables, and these variables will point to a data store. So if you don't know what a data store is, it is basically uh, a data type that allows you to save uh, pretty much any object or any data type such as a table or a string or a number onto the Roblox servers and this is persistent which means that if you close Roblox and then join again in another game the data so let's make those two variables right now to do this you first want to make a data store variable that gets the uh, service called data store service like that now you need to make a data store inside this service so let's call a data store called slot store and we're gonna set that to data store get data store and you can give it a name like slot store now we can use the slot store variable to save our data now I'm gonna put some code in the on server invoke load slot function we want to return the data corresponding to that slot so we can do this by returning the slot store, get async, and inside the parentheses put in player dot name dot dot dash and close in quotes dot dot slot. So what this does is there is a function called get async that gets uh, the data inside a certain key. So in this case, we want to get the key corresponding to that player slot. So we get the player name, append on a dash, and then append on the slot name. So that way we can separate these slots into players and then separate it into individual slots for a player. Now we also need to make a function to save a slot. So we can do that by making a uh, connect function by doing this, save slot dot on server event connect into a function. And of course, this is the same for a remote event. The first object pass is a player, and we also want the slot and the data. All right, so to do this, uh, I want to make sure that if the set async, in this case, to save the data fails, I want to be able to keep doing that until it succeeds. So I'm going to make a variable called success. I'm going to set that to false for now because I'm going to make a while loop that checks if it is not successful yet. And in the first case, it's always not successful so we're gonna set success equal to p call and p call is a Lua function that allows you to run a function and catch any errors so in the case that there is an error the code won't error it will just set the success to false and it'll keep going so inside here I can put a function like that 
and I can set the uh, data by doing slot store set async player dot name dot dot dash dot dot slot and in the second parameter I'm going to put in the data so this script is pretty much everything you need to do from the server side it has two functions that allows you to get data from the storage and save data to the storage so that is it for this video uh, I will see you in the following episode thanks for watching bye guys <laughs>